This is not a blind reveal because I did look these up beforehand. A little peek. Ooh, right off the bat. Brian Dawkins downtown, PSA 10. I am here to show you what I am grading with PSA to grade to flip. So here we go. All right, hey, Carcam. I'm here with a PSA reveal video. Uh this is a Spectra Bakrisi Auto out of 25. I think they called it a neon blue when I uh, started entering in the information. I did keep it in a top loader because this is a thick card. Bob Greasy, post-playing career. I know some <gasps> fans who would like this card, but, you know, probably more coveted in a 9 or a 10. Should not have graded it because, you know, I thought there might be a little bit of edge issue. This is a Gary Clark. It's out of 199. I forget what this, I think it's just the regular. There's no, like, variation on this. Thicker cards, they're <gasps> post-playing career. Uh, you know, nice auto for Bob Greasy. Not so much for Gary Clark. But, you know, this one's out of 99, 199. I got this in a break. Uh, I, I should have just sold it. Um, it's I'm going to lose money on this card. I'm not going to crack it or anything like that. I'm just going to like, you know, I can't even gift it to a kid because no one, kids don't know who Gary Clark was. So this one's a Josh Allen. This is a, out of 179, 2021. It's a, it's a true blue. It looks nice, but it's, it is high numbered. And I don't understand why I got a PSA 8. You know, I <gasps> a maybe with a 9. Um, this was too great to flip. Um, it is out of 179 here. Um, you know, it's like a third year Josh Allen, not a big deal, but I thought I could, I don't think I'm going to get my grading fees back on this card. Now we get to one of the downtowns where I was worried that it might not be uh, real, but it is, it is a Jerry Rice out of 2023 Donner's Optic and it's offset on the left there, the Panini logo and the year. The important ones I did get a 10, like the Brian Dawkins downtown, got the Jerry, Jerry Rice downtown, got a PSA 10, 2023 Donner's Optic. It is a beautiful card. Uh, I was worried that it might not be real, but when you look at the embossing around the the player, the outline of the player, and the lasers, um, and I, again, I, I felt the card. I kind of did one of these things where I could feel the thickness of the card and whether it was flimsy or not. I'm opening it up. That's how I like to do my cards with a one touch. I'm looking at it. I am kind of doing the little thing that I did earlier. It feels like a real card, so I'm actually really happy, but I was really worried about making this video. I'm really glad that it got a 10. This is a Brian Dawkins. This one, the Panini logo is in the middle, 2021, Donruss Optic Football. I uh, love the pretzel in the background and the eagle. We have here the Brian Dawkins. It is a PSA 10. I bought that card raw at uh, the Greenville, North Carolina show, and it is uh, a banger. I was worried that it might not be real, but it is real and it is spectacular. Ellie De La Cruz, Blue Sparkle from Topps Heritage. Really hard to read the back. I don't think that's a surface issue. Uh, I just think that that's how this card is because it's from Topps Heritage. Ellie De La Cruz, again, bought this from a card friend. I, I thought it would gem. It did. So I'm very happy. It's a 2024 Topps Heritage uh, rookie Ellie De La Cruz. It's not numbered. Um, the back just looks so like you know heritage looking it looks very old blue sparkle and it's chromium and i'm glad to, for it to get a 10 because i don't think i got many out of this manny machado uh, 2013 rookie auto out of 99 tops finest really nice autograph there really like this card uh, this one again maybe it's the surface issue like eh? there's no way i'm gonna clean you know that like little specks there near the autograph so I guess I get why this got a nine because that is not the um, the plastic or the the holder. It's um, I don't remember it being there, but maybe I'll have to look in the old video and see if it was. And I just didn't. But you know, it's so hard to wipe something that close to an autograph. But this did get a nine. It's a beautiful 2013 Manny Machado rookie finest out of 99. So this card I will make available either on eBay or another selling platform or take it to me to a card show. But this is definitely a card for a Manny Machado uh, collector. I mean, it's just a beautiful auto. Garrett Cole, Finest and Masters, on card as well, I believe, out of 25. On card, Garrett Cole, eh? 2021 Finest, Orange Refractor, out of 25. I really hoped that this was going to get a PSA 10. It's a Sam Howell, out of 35. I think this was called a, not a mirror. I think it was just a 
base out of 35. Like, it's none of the mirror variations for 2022 certified. Sam Hell out of 35. I bought this at the Shanghai <laughs> show. Um, it's a sticker auto. Uh, it's a rookie. I don't know. There's nothing, you know, it's certified, which is a low brand. If out of 10, I would have made some money on it. I, I think I'll barely break even with this card because it's a nine. This is a out of graphics Rick Smiths on card black ink, not blue ink, which would have been tougher um, variation. But this is for the 98 Sky uh, Skybox out of graphics, not the 96. You know, it's funny. They don't have a, a number at the top here because, um, you know, usually like they have the numbers at the top of the top right. But this is a PSA 9. It's an auto graphics Rick Smiths. I bought this on eBay. Um, I thought I had a really good chance at a 10, but a 9. It is a, a beautiful card. Might be PC. I don't know. It's just, it's a 90s auto graphics. I mean, it's a really nice auto. Rick Smiths, Loopy, uh, playing your auto, and it's just a really cool card. So I'm glad to keep this if, if uh, I don't get any strong offers. Uh, this is a Luca Revolution. I pack pulled this uh, when I was breaking, and the person who won it, which almost went to a free giveaway, but the person who did win it, um, is now a card friend and he sold this to me and it was, you know, the, the auto is cut off at the top there. So I got a little discount uh, due to that, but just, you know, memories. So this is a big card. I, I was a breaker a long time ago and got this for a, you know, who is now a card friend. Um, shout out to Mikey, but we made a deal for this. I said, Hey, I would love to buy it. If you're willing to sell it, I, I broke like uh, two boxes of Panini revolution. He gave me a discount because as you can see from that auto, that Lulu, that the top of that loop is not uh, exactly the the best because it cuts off. So he gave me a deal on it. I thought it might gem. This is going to be a PC card. So I guess I could have submitted it somewhere else, but got a PSA 9. Uh, big Shots, Michael Jordan, Ultra. I don't believe that this um, is going to gem like none of these Jordans. But, you know, I thought hopefully if it can get a PSA 9 that I could get some decent return on it. Uh, it's another Jordan. You know, these cards are so hard to gem. You know, some people believe in the Jordan pop control by, by PSA or other grading companies. Um, eh? It's got a nine. You know, I'm sure there's some sort of edge or corner issue for it to not be, you know, great. But, you know, same thing with this uh, borderless silver mystery. Uh, so it's not a refractor, but it is a top's finest uh, five. Even though it says 96 there, it's 95, 96 top's finest. Mm. A Michael Jordan mystery borderless PSA 7. Uh, this one is a uh, Tops Power Boosters a regular version. Doesn't have that kind of like pulsar look, but this one is, you know, it does have some scratches here. I'll see how it does. I don't think it's going to get a PSA 9, definitely not a 10, but we'll see what uh, PSA says. Um, this card, I think, was previously a BGS 8, maybe 9, but it definitely wasn't a 10. Definitely, you can see like surface issues. I probably should not have graded this card. Um, I knew that it wasn't going to get a, uh, a nine or a ten. I thought maybe an eight, but maybe there's just too much surface oil loss there for this to be a ten or um, to be an eight. Then we have a Victor Pink. Pulled this in one of my box battles I did with Big J Basketball, which was really fun. Twenty three, twenty four out of a mega box out of Downrus Optic. This one, I am super surprised. Maybe not super surprised. Eh? Maybe there's some sort of print line or some sort of surface issue that I missed. But the corners, edges, and centering are perfect on this card. But it did get a PSA 9. And last but not least, I'll just speed run through these. These are six Victor Tops Now. Two from uh, the second card. Two from the sixth card. Two from the fourth card. And I just, you know, this has that downtown look. This, uh, I have the UFO variation. I bought that uh, in a big lot from a local card friend as well. And then this youngest ever called a 5x5, like the David Robinson or something like that. But, you know, when you get five, at least five points, five rebounds, five assists, five blocks, five steals, just the monster stat line. I Look at this. I got five tens. I got five tens. And so out of this uh, VW2, I got two tens. Uh, the VW4, I got two tens, and the VW6, I got one ten and <clears throat> one nine. So five Wemby, gem tens, and one nine. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to make a quick little video before uh, I have to get on a train really soon. Then we have a nine. Then we have less than nines. We got a ten. We got a ten. We got a nine. We got a nine. We got a nine. 
got a nine. We got a seven. We got an eight. We got a nine. We got a nine. We got a nine. We got a seven. We got a ten. So again, to recap. These, um, the ones that got sevens and eights are, I mean, the Jordans, I, I, again, I probably should not have graded them. Um, but these cards, I, sh um, I should not have graded these thick cards and I should have known better to know that this was not going to get a nine or a 10. And even the eight was wishful thinking. And this one, these two, I have no clue why they got eights and not, uh, eights and sevens. But so those five, I got dusted on these nine, uh, these nines, some are close. This one probably had not a great chance. This one, yeah, it would have been nice if it was 10, but it's PC, so it doesn't matter. This one I was hoping to was a 10, but maybe there's a print line surface issue. This one, it, it was so perfect. I don't know why this didn't get a gem, but it is a beautiful card. Uh, Sam Hell, lose money on that, no biggie. This one I'll break even on. This one I, I will break even on, but I'm really glad to get it to a Manny Machado collector. And, oh, this is a PSA 9. Oh, yeah, no, I said that earlier. This is a 9. Again, I have no clue, but... Out of six Wembies, get tops now Wembies, getting only one nine and five tens is awesome. Out of this order, gem rate is not great, but I gotta say, for the most important cards, I got tens. We got a PSA nine in downtown that would have not been so great. So this is a Brian Dawkins PSA ten, it's an Ellie PSA ten, a Jerry Rice PSA ten, and then the rest of these are Wembies. So this was a value bulk special. Maybe I'll say how much it costs for me to submit. Then I can do a, a raw estimate maybe. And then I can say, maybe I'll do like a follow-up video where basically I say how much I think I'm going to uh, net from this or win or lose. But again, for the most part, for me, for me, Danny Cards with the hobby, PSA is the way to go for resale is what the market wants. And so who am I to go against the tides of the market? People want downtown PSA 10s and that premium, and that's going to get me the most amount of money. That's what I'm going to do, especially for, for football and baseball that I'm looking to flip. Basketball, too, if I'm looking to flip the basketball. For example, this is not PC. This, these are not PC Wemby's for me. I have five Wemby PSA 10s and one PSA 9. All of these are going to go up either on auction, eBay, buy it now, in shows. But I'm looking to move these to make a profit out of these. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Good luck with your grading. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And please like, subscribe, and comment if you want more of this. Because that's really the only way the algorithm allows me to get this out to more folks. And it motivates me to make more YouTube videos. It's when videos go out to the algorithm. I get more views. I get more likes, more subscribers. Then I it really does motivate me to want to do this more. So thank you so much for watching. Again, hope you have a wonderful day. And have a great time in the hobby. Take care.